Hey guys, so here is the answer key to the study guide for the linear equations test. All right, number one, write an equation of a line with a slope of negative 5 sevenths and a y-intercept of 3. Well, that's y equals mx plus b. So y equals negative 5 sevenths x plus 3. Starts at 3, goes down 5 over 7, down 5 over 7. Write a linear function with the values f of 2 equal to 5 and f of 3 equal to 6 and show all your works. So we need to write a linear equation using these two points. Well, the first point is a 2, the second point is a 5, and this one is a 3, this is an 8. Remember, the x is on the inside, the y is on the outside, right? So we got to find the slope between these. we got to go y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So i got to go 8 minus 5, because this is my x1, this is my y1, this is my x2, this is my y2. 8 minus 5, then 3 minus 2. 8 minus 5 is 3. 3 minus 2 is 1. That has a slope of up 3 over 1, and we can use point slope form. y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1 to write this equation. I'm going to pick a point. I'm going to do the 2, 5. y minus 5 is equal to 3 times x minus 2. Or y minus 8 is equal to 3 times x minus 3. I used either one of the points. It doesn't matter. Write an equation in point slope form of the line that passes through this point with a slope of negative 5. Well, there's point slope form right there. So um, through the point, so it's y minus a negative 2 is equal to the slope, which is negative 5 times x minus 4. Two negatives, though, make a positive, so it's y plus 2 is equal to negative 5 times x minus 4. An equation in standard form is written as 3x minus 2y equals 12. Write down the x and y intercepts below and demonstrate a monograph. So 3x minus 2y equals 12. If I have 0 for the x, well then the y, 12 divided by negative 2, y is going to be at negative 6. So the y-intercept is going to be at 0 for the x and negative 6 for the y. Well, if I don't have a y though, 3, 12 divided by 3 is 4. x is 4, so the x-intercept is at the point 4, 0, right? So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, where x equals 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, where y equals negative 6, right? And there's your graph right there. Create a function for the graph. Show all your work to support your answer. Well, just like kind of the last problem, not the last problem, but the problem number uh, 2, same thing. we got to find the slope and then use a point to write an equation. So I'm going to say this is my x1, y1, x2, y2. So I go 3 minus a negative 5 over 3 minus a negative 1. Well, two negatives make a positive. 8 over 3. Nope, sorry, 8 over 4. 8 over 4, and 8 divided by 4 is 2 over 1. So the slope is 2, up 2 over 1. So I'm going to use that first point, that top point. y minus 3 is equal to 2 times x minus 3. Or, if I use the other point, y plus 5 is equal to 2 times x plus 1. Same equations. Do the three points shown on the coordinate grid lie on the same line? Well, if they lie on the same line, they have to have the same slope between them. The same up and over, up and over. So i got to check. I'm going to check these two. And I'm going to check those two. So I'm going to go 10 minus 2, 6 minus 0. That is 8 over 6, which is 4 thirds. Now I'm going to do these points up here to see if they're the same. 16 minus 10, 10 minus 6. 16 minus 10 is 6, 10 minus 6 is 4. That is 3 halves. No, they are not on the same line, not on same line, not same slope, right? They don't have the same slopes, so that means this one is going up 4 over 3, up 4 over 3 to get to one dot. 
Whereas this one has to go up three over two, up three, it's a different line. And honestly, if you draw it, you'll actually see that you miss it. You're actually going to see that you miss it. Okay, number seven is a big one, right? A faucet leaks at a constant rate. Andrew places the measuring cup under the leak to catch the water. The table shows the amount of millimeters in water in the cup at different times. So after an hour and a half, 7.5, two hours, 10, two and a half. So we have to find the average rate of change for the problem. This is where we've got to figure out how much is it changing over time. So it looks like it's changing 2.5, 2.5, 2.5 every 0.5 hours. Okay, so two and a half millimeters every half an hour. 2.5 divided by 0.5. Well, that, that's actually half an hour to make it an hour. You got times it by two. So that's five millimeters per hour. Right, so the slope is five millimeters per hour. So if we write a function to model this, well, I'm going to use point slope form. I'm going to use this. I'm going to use 210. So y minus 10 is equal to 2 times x minus 2, right? So now determine the amount of water in the faucet after it goes for 11 hours. Well, y minus 10 is equal to 2 times x, but the x is now going to be 11 minus 2. y minus 10 is equal to 11 minus 2 is 9 times 2 is 18. I'm going to add 10 to both sides. 18 millimeters after 11 hours. Now sketch a graph of the information provided indicate any y-intercepts. So first point is at 1.5, 7.5. 1.5, 7.5 right there. Next one is at 210. So then I go over 2, up 10, another dot. 2.5, 12.5, so I go over 2.5 to 12.5. And, and then the next one is at 3.15, so I go 3.15. And look at that, they're in a beautiful line going up like that. Okay. <clears throat> Are the graphs of the equations? y equals 5x plus 5, and y minus 1 equals 5 times x plus 3 parallel. Explain why or not. So it's all about the slope. Do they have the same slope? This is a 5, this is a 5. Yes. Now we got to see, do they have a different intercept? This crosses at 5, right? So this crosses at 5, goes up 5 over 1. This crosses at 5x plus 15. Then you got to add the 1 plus 16. So that crosses at plus 16 clear up here. Are they parallel? Yes. Same slope. Same slope, different intercepts. That's important. Write an equation of a line that passes through 3, negative 1 is parallel to the line y equals 2x plus 3. So again, it's all about the slope. So if it's parallel, the slope has to be 2. My slope has to be 2, and it's got to go through this point. So I'm going to use point slope form. y minus a negative 1 is y plus 1 is equal to 2 times x minus 3. Write an equation of a line that passes through this point and is perpendicular to the line that passes through the points 2, 5, 5, and negative 11. Okay, so first I need to get a slope between these two points of that line, right? So i got to go negative 11 minus 5, 5 minus 2. Negative 11 minus 5 is negative 16, 5 minus 2 is 3. So the slope there is negative 16 thirds for this line, okay? But I need one that's perpendicular to that through this. So that means I need the opposite reciprocal. Opposite reciprocal. Reciprocal. So therefore, it's got to be 3 over 16, and it goes from negative to a positive. So I'm going to use the point y minus a negative 8 is equal to 3 over 16 times x minus a negative 3, and two negatives make it a positive. So it's y plus 8, 3 16 is x minus plus 3. Position of an open water swimmer is shown in the graph. The shortest route to the shoreline is a line that's perpendicular to it, right? An equational line that represents this path. So the swimmer's right here, and it's got to go this way, so we got to do a per perpendicular line to this through that. So first off, I have to find the equation of this, or basically the slope. So to get from 5 to here, 
That's a down one over one, down one over one, down one over one, and it starts at five. So the equation is y equals negative one x plus five, where that slope is negative one. And if I want a perpendicular, then my slope has to be the positive one over one. And using the point 6, 2, I'm going to go y minus 2 is equal to 1 times x minus 6. That'll give me a line perpendicular to that one through that point. Awesome. Okay, number 12 here. Okay, so number 12 here. Two lines are with negative slopes are perpendicular. No, they have to have opposite reciprocals. So that can never happen. They have to be opposites. Two vertical lines are parallel. Two vertical lines are parallel. Sometimes true because the two lines could be the same line or always true. Sometimes true, always true, right in that area, right? Two lines with the same y-intercept are parallel. Two lines with the same are parallel. Parallel means they can't touch. So if they share the same y-intercept, then that means they touch. That's never true. Two lines are parallel. Two vertical, they are parallel. Two lines with the same y-intercept are perpendicular. That's true. They could be perpendicular at the y. So that's sometimes true. Okay, one year after you buy... A tree, it's 16 feet tall. Each year you buy the tree, it grows 6 feet. The height for the first three years is shown. Model this with an arithmetic sequence. So a sub n is equal to the first term plus the common difference times n minus 1. So a sub n is equal to 16, but we're adding 6 for who knows how long. Okay, write this as a function. Okay, so we just turn this to y's and x's. y equals 16 plus 6 times x minus 1. And show how long it'll take for that to reach a maximum height of 50 feet. Okay, so it has to equal 50 feet. So the 16 plus 6 times x minus 1 has to equal 50 feet. And now i got to do the math. 16 plus 6x minus 6 equals 50. Um, 16 minus 6, I get 6x plus 10 equals 50. I subtract 10. 6x equals 40. X is going to be 40 divided by 6, which is roughly 8.3 years. All right. On the back, we have transformation sliding a shape. Each For each of the following, a function has been given along with its graph. Perform the specified transformation of the function. So, for example, this is uh, the absolute value of X. Now, I need to move it according to this rule. So, this rule is telling me I need to move it right 1, up, 2, and has a slope of negative 1 over 3. Okay, so I gotta take this, I gotta move right 1, I gotta move up 2, and now I gotta go down 1 over 3, down 1 over 3, down 1 over 3, both directions. That is going to end up looking like this. Okay, so the equation is 2x plus 1, I gotta move it left. 2, down 3. So I'm just going to pick a point. I like a point right in the middle. i got to move that point left 2. 1, 2, down 3. 1, 2, 3, right there. And the slope doesn't change, so the slope is still 2 to 1. So from here, i got to go up 2, over 1, up 2, over 1. Ooh, it's a very, very tight line parallel to that one. So it just moves over just a little bit like that. Okay, guys. There is the answer key to the study guide.